Good day to all of you. Welcome to EC Physics. Learn physics as easy as 1, 2, 3. Through this video, we are going to discuss about different types of friction. Through one of our previous videos, we have already discussed what is friction and what is the reason for friction. If you did not watch the video, please do visit my channel and watch the video on friction part 1. Through today's discussion, we'll discuss about the different types of friction, namely static friction, rolling friction, sliding friction, and fluid friction. Let us look at this picture. It is a cup which is resting on the surface of a saucer, right? Another one, a ball resting on the ground. Here you can see many an objects resting on the surface of another objects. That is the common speciality of these objects, right? All these objects are at rest on the surface of another objects. Do they experience any opposite force? Definitely yes. That is why they are not able to move. Even if you apply a small amount of force, these objects will not be able to start motion, right? We have to apply force enough to overcome the opposition offered by the surface. So frictional force which comes into play when objects are at rest can be called a static friction. Frictional force means it is the opposite force. So when the objects are at rest on the surface of another objects, we can call the opposite force as static friction. Static friction we can see in n number of situations. If you look around you, you can see n number of objects are at rest, right? I'm just listing two examples. It doesn't mean that only two examples you can find for static friction. A book resting on a desk, a potted plant sitting on a sidewalk. You just have a look around you, you'll be able to see n number of examples where static friction is being experienced. In this, the girl is sliding, right? Here and in the third picture also, you can see the common speciality of these motion are these type of motions can be classified as sliding motion. So objects are sliding on the surface of another objects. At this time, the opposite force experienced by the objects due to the surface can be called as sliding friction. So sliding friction is the friction that occurs when solid surfaces slide over one another. When you look around you, you can see different examples. For example, pencil point and paper while writing, they experience sliding, right? While you comb your hair, surface of the comb and the strands of your hair will also be experiencing a sliding friction. You can list another 10 or 15 examples when you just have a close look around you. In this, the second picture, and in the third picture, you can see one thing very common that they are having a wheel or it is having a ball, a spherical surface. So when these spheres or the wheels are moving, their type of motion can be called as a rolling motion, right? So friction experienced between surfaces in motion in which one of the surface has to be a wheel, a roller or a ball so that the type of motion is rolling and the friction experience there can be called as rolling friction. So rolling friction means it is a friction that occurs between surfaces in motion in which one of the surface has to be a wheel, a roller or a ball, which means the type of motion has to be rolling motion. While riding a bicycle, tires and the ground will be experiencing rolling friction. While you play bowling, ball and the lane will be experiencing rolling friction, right? When you look at another examples, in this, the objects, in the first one, the man is flying in air, aeroplane is flying in air, the person is swimming in water. What is common in them? Air, water, they can be combinedly called as fluid. When objects are solid objects are moving in fluid then also they will experience some opposite force resistive force that kind of resistive force when objects are moving through liquid or a gas through this resistance objects will try to slow down so this 
type of resistive force can be called as fluid friction. So fluid friction means it is the force that tries to slow objects down when they move through a liquid or a gas. It can be otherwise called as drag or air resistance. All gases and liquids can be combinedly called as fluids. So an aeroplane and a swimmer both will be experiencing fluid friction. I hope today's topics are very clear to all of you. Let's have a quick recap on what we have studied today. Static friction is a friction when the surfaces are at rest. Sliding friction that occurs when solid surfaces slide over one another. Rolling friction means it will occur between surfaces in motion which one of the surface is a wheel, roller or a ball. Fluid friction means it is the force that tries to slow objects down when they move through a liquid or a gas. Hope all the four types of friction is very, very clear to all of you. If in doubt, please do post your doubt in the comment section so that I can address in the next video. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day to all of you.